All right, hello everyone, and welcome to episode five of Divine Journey 2. I'm Sandy, and I'm super excited for this episode because we are going to be finishing up our first quest line here, The Journey Begins, which means great things for progression, and we're going to be getting into some totemic today. Um, so between episodes here, I did a bit of mining. I did a bit of prep. Actually, we'll go around here. Um, I made a little bit of a cow farm because we're going to be needing some leather here very shortly. And I did a bit of mining and I found a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of emeralds, and I have the rest of this stuff set up for the required things that I need for the rest of the items in the quest line. So we can just go ahead and start some of that. So, we'll start with the diamond chest, which requires a gold chest, which requires an iron chest, which requires iron plates. So that's just a chest surrounded by iron plates, which we can most definitely do if I have my hammer. So that's eight plates, which we can get right there. And then we'll make, oh, we already have some nuggets. Make ourselves a chest here. Put that in the center. Surround it. Now we have an iron chest. And then we need eight gold plates. Surround the chest in those. And then we need eight diamonds and we'll surround the chest in those. Boom, diamond chest. There you go. Um, I realize at this moment that I could have made the chest upgrades and upgraded one of these chests, but um, you know, live and learn. We have a diamond chest, we completed it. I do think I'm gonna grab some iron ore because um, while the real might is helpful, um, iron, I think, is more so. So now we can move on to this diamond reinforced shield, which is just um, this crude wooden shield surrounded by four diamonds, which is very easy for us. So if we do this, I believe this is the recipe. Yes. And then grab four of our diamonds. And there's that. I'm not a big shield user, I'll be completely honest. In vanilla Minecraft, at least. Um, holding, which increases the storage capacity of certain items. Sounds pretty cool, maybe we could put that on our backpack. Um, okay, so then these drawer upgrades. Um, so we need obsidian, we need the base drawer upgrade, which means we need a drawer. So, uh, where did I put my wood? Here it is. Another thing that I was thinking about doing between episodes is potentially, um, okay, we need eight of those, is potentially setting up a little starter drawer system um, just for outside, maybe near our smeltery. Um, I don't know, I think that could potentially be helpful. I think, oh no, we're going to be short on logs, aren't we? Yeah, we are. All right, let me grab some wood and get this all done. All right, I really thought I had everything prepared, <laughs> but clearly I did not. Okay, now we can do this and get our eight chests. Okay, and then we need our obsidian here. Um, drawer, uh, let's see. I think if I just look up, okay, here we go. So we need some more sticks, which means we need drawers. And okay, if we just do this, then that'll be that. Man, that required a lot of wood, but we're gonna be getting some more anyway, so not a big deal. 
All right, so now we should be able to, oh. Wait, did I need? Yeah, I needed eight, so. Okay, that was worthwhile. I guess we just have some extra drawers left over. Not a big deal. All right, now we'll grab our upgrades. Uh, once again, I'm just gonna turn these all into sticks because I think we'll need them. And we get eight of those. And we get a drawer key, which is always useful. And we can also get a storage upgrade for free for this. All right, and now we need four, only four of these diamond storage upgrades, which means we need the gold ones and the iron ones, which we can do very easily. Um, although I don't think I'm gonna have the gold for this. So let me throw some gold. In fact, probably not even that much. That's a lot of gold. Once again, I'm clearly very prepared for this episode. <laughs> Um, but we'll throw some gold in here. Get that smelting, get some gold, and then we'll make our iron ones in the process. Um, so we only need four. Oh, once again, we need more sticks, more wood. All right, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna do a little breeding here. Get some more cows. And once again, as I am very well prepared for this, grab some more wood. <laughs> and then we will really be ready to finish this quest line. It's not gonna take me the entire episode to finish this, I promise. I promise. Okay, we should have all that we need now as we're getting some gold in here. Should be fine. Okay, now we need some more sticks. Should be enough. Only need four. Need more diamonds. Which we have. What are we short on? Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was very confused. So what do we... Oh, the diamonds. Oh, no. Please, no, do not tell me I'm one di Oh, phew. Okay. That would have been so tragic. All right, and now we're gonna be short on sticks again. So we can just do this, grab our emeralds. Wait, let's make sure we claim this first. Okay, we need four of those, which we can do just like that. And that should be that. All right, we got our drawers. And now we need the rare backpack, which is diamonds, which I'm going to have to go get because unfortunately we only have one now <laughs> because I miscalculated how many diamonds we would need, which is just too bad, but that is okay because I'm still gonna finish it within this episode because to you, it'll look like I get diamonds instantly. But while we do that, I'm gonna smelt some of this cactus uh, because for treated leather, we need some lime dye, which we can get uh, from cactus and bone meal, and then we'll get this leather, which we only need four of, and we'll get that from the cows and then we'll grab the diamonds. So I'm gonna go grab some diamonds and I will be right back. Okay, I found diamonds basically instantly, which is really nice. Um, I do think it would be worth mentioning after I kill this guy. These guys hit hard. 
Um, I do think it's worth mentioning that I put a bunch more lapis on this pickaxe. So I have one diamond now. Um, this is going to take a second. Hopefully it's more than one, but we'll see. Um, and now I have three. I don't know. Let's see if we break through here. Yeah, there's not an empty spot. So um, we did get two diamonds from that one. Uh, but that is still obviously not going to be enough for our backpack since we need, as I'm scrolling through the entirety of what diamonds can make instead of just here, we need four. So unfortunately we need, uh, one more. So I'm going to grab that and then we'll be ready to go. All right. We have our needed diamonds here and now we can make our backpack. So first we need to kill a couple cows just to get four leather, which we can do really quickly. Wait, what? He doesn't get one hit. Oh, oh there's our four leather. Untrue pacifist. Yeah, that's true. All right, awesome. So now we need to make treated leather and I'm just going to throw some of this stuff back in here. Um, let's see, I'm going to need this gold. I'm also going to need the rest of this gold. Okay. All right. So for treated leather, We need the lime dye, which we can get. I believe I have some bones. If I don't have bones, I'm going to be very disappointed. And it looks like somehow I've ended up with a single bone. But this should give us two. Yeah, so we're good. Whew, that was close. <laughs> we're still good. We're still on track. All right. So, and then flint, and then leather, and then water bucket, which we have two of. So we can make one and two, and then we just need, I don't like that it, oh wait, where'd the other bucket go? Huh? Am I crazy? Oh, okay, it's right here. I don't like that it puts it in there like that. Okay, just grab a little bit more water, two more buckets, and then we are actually done with the quest line, which is super exciting. And then we can hop into Totemic, finally. <laughs> finally, finally, finally. All right. There are our Buckets, boom, two more treated leather, boom, a block of gold, boom, rare backpack, there it is, quest complete, and we're going to grab some gold for that. All right, there you go, the journey begins fully completed. We have this nice big backpack. Unfortunately, it didn't have us build the epic backpack, which we could do with the Alumite. Um, but I mean, we needed the, the rare one for this quest line. So it is what it is, but this is great because it gives us a lot of space for mining. And, um, and so now we can, I can go down for long mining trips and not worry about inventory space as long as I have food and all that. So we're just gonna, um, I'm just gonna clean up my inventory and then we will get started on Totemic. All right, so I've gone ahead and cleared up my inventory a little bit and now we can start on Totemic. So the first thing that we need, all right, so this quest is for information. So you can use the totem whittling knife on any vanilla log to make it into a totem base. 
You can also shift right click or shift scroll wheel on your totem whittling knife to switch between totem options, carve any vanilla log um, above a totem base to create a totem of a specific kind. So basically, um, let's see, the, you get different effects for different um, totem kinds for the effects, which we will find out with this Akashic Tome. So we'll go ahead and start this. Let's see, claim this. All right, so the first thing that we need to make is a totemist drum. Um, so essentially what Totemic is, is you're gonna be doing some ceremonies to do different effects, change some items, um, get some different buffs, all that stuff, and eventually um, summon a boss. So um, this tells you how to do a ceremony. Um, we're first gonna be doing the war dance and then you get strength and speed for three minutes um, from that. So um, what we need for this is some more treated leather and some wood and some copper, all of which are very easy. However, I did mention in my last episode that I wanted to get a little space set up for this ritual area. And what I wanna do is have it set up um, over in this Kind of fall looking forest um, and so i'm gonna find a spot for us to set up here i think i might just do it up here right in this area so i'm gonna clear this spot out for us and make a little ritual zone so that we can have a good place to do all of this totemic stuff so i will do that and when you um, next see this area it will be clear of trees and a great spot for us to get into this mod all right and just like that it is magically clear <laughs> so what i've done is i've gone ahead and cleared up this area a little bit um, for our ritual and totemic but stuff um, i've also made the outline of a little path that'll get us back to here so we'll come in from here we'll do our ritual stuff We'll head back home that way. Um, I did bring a crafting table over. I want to make uh, just a few fences. Always good to have some fences. Um, well, you know what? I take that back. I think I'm just going to leave the area open and we'll see if we need any fences. Um, but we have them if we need them. Like I said, always good to have fences um, all right so now as I hear a baby zombie somewhere around me now we need to make the totemist drum which we can do if we go probably faster well can't do that right now because of the cooldown all right so we'll just use our handy dandy little path it'd be nice if we had like some sort of path block or something through here um, but we can make it over here to our house and we will breed the cows and then unfortunately sacrifice one or two of them for the greater good sneak in here I don't know I need a better sword maybe I should make a oh I did make a um, Arlamite shovel which helped in clearing out the area. So maybe I'll just make an Arlamite sword because I think I have enough for that. Because this real might sword just isn't really cutting it to be completely honest with you. Um, but that is for another time because now we have the leather and we need the totemist drum. So if we grab some copper, which we have enough of, make a copper block. Okay, and then we need our treated leather, which we should have. Oh, you know what? Now that I, now that I think about it, we are not gonna have enough bones, are we? No, we are not. So, I'm gonna make a Arlamite stabber. 
Uh, where should I put this old sword? We're running out of inventory space real quickly, but we have our diamond chest that I'm going to set up. And like I mentioned, might set up a drawer system. So I'll sort out the inventory space between episodes. Not the most riveting of content to watch. Um, but so if we get uh, a few more bones, then we can do this. So I'm going to grab some in this nighttime here. And when I come back, I'll have bones. Also, just as it's becoming nighttime, I wanted to quickly mention that as I was making this cow farm and grabbing the cows, I noticed that we have like this little building of some sort. And I believe it's a zombie spawner. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's good to know that we have that there right next to our base. Um, I just can't believe I didn't see it until, uh, you know, just now, pretty much. Um, but yeah. All right. I'll be back with some bones. Okay, I just heard the most horrific noise, and I see this thing. What is that? That was awful. Um, I'm also slightly convinced that they patched out skeletons because uh, I found like three total. I have four bones, which is enough and that's all we need for um, the stuff, but I can't find any of these guys. They're just gone. Plenty of creepers, plenty of zombies. No skeletons. But I'm just going to finish up this night, see how many more I can find, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so I'm just now getting back. It is becoming daytime, and it turns out we have some friends <laughs> at our house. And I think these guys are nice, as long as we don't hit them. Nope. I was sorely mistaken. <laughs> Never mind, they're nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's sort all this stuff out real quick. You know what? Just for the time being, unfortunately, I'm just going to do one of these maneuvers. Um, which is fine. All right. So now we have our leather and we need our buckets, which I totally remember where I put them. Right here. Um, I should just get a infinite lava source or <laughs> infinite lava source yeah i wish that existed well it might in a mod pack um but I'm gonna grab my water which i should make an infinite water source as well as my green dye which i put in here and i think i'll just make six of it it's fine um, even though I do have more of it. So, I'm making the totemus drum. So I need some flint. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> I'm a professional. Alright, one more bucket of water. This is very tedious. But here we are. Hey, at least I finished the first quest line in this episode, like I said I would. <laughs> okay. I can't even get back up now. Excuse me, Mr. Growly Man. All we need is one more here. Oh, except we need two of these, so we actually need three more. Uh, which is which is fine. So we need two more buckets. And then we'll be good. In the future, I'll probably cut this stuff out. Because the boring crafting stuff isn't necessarily what you all are here for. But here we are anyway. And 
we need one more flint, which I know we have right there. Okay, and we need another block of copper, which did I put? Yes, I did. One more block of copper. We'll grab the other block of copper. Make two of those. Okay. Whew. Um, I think for this, we should maybe grab some ink sacks. I think I know where chickens are. So, all right. Great. Next, after that long, long process, we need a flute, which is just some leaves, some wood, and some silver, which we can very easily do. So we'll go ahead and smelt this stuff up. And I'll grab some leaves. Hopefully shears. Uh, it's probably plates, isn't it? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, we can do that. Um, I think we have, what is this? Planks. All right, now we can do this. Easy. Grab some leaves off of this tree. Actually, I can just do that, can't I? Sometimes I forget about ore excavation, or just excavation in general. I guess that's not an ore. Uh, I want to do this. All right, we got one of our blocks, and I'll be back when we have both of them. All right. We have our 18 silver. And now... We should be able to... Let's see, flute. We can make both of those. We can make our flute. Um, I'm gonna grab... What is this? I'm gonna grab the concealment key. Oh, do we get both? What's happening? Didn't I make it? Oh, you have to right click it for the f Oh, you just get both. Okay, cool. Alright, and then the jingle dress is iron bells. That's kind of a lot of <laughs> iron. Um, very doable, though. Need another treated leather. Wow, so okay. So we need one, two, six rods. Just enough for three. And then we need another treated leather. Which we know how to make at this point. <laughs> Everyone knows that I can make a good treated leather. And yes, you are going to have to watch me make this once more. And then we'll have our beginning instruments set up for our rituals, which we can get into in the next episode. Uh, let's see, I'll just throw that in there for now. And boom, we have our jingle dress, which is awesome. Um, that's complete. We will grab, let's see, iron or copper? We're kind of short on copper, so I think I'm going to grab some copper, actually. Um, even though, you know, it, it took a lot of iron for us to make the jingle dress. But there we go. So, now, we have our totemus drum, our flute, and our jingle dress. So we'll come over here. And we'll place these guys down. And we will also make our totem. Oh, I also decided to just make the outline of this 11 by 11 area 
uh, because I think we want one more uh, because with our do I really not have it no I don't with the whittling knife we will make that into a totem pole um, but now we have our drums we have our flute and our jingle dress which doesn't seem to be jingling oh you can't hear it but you see those music notes coming off of it which means it's working all right so with that i'm gonna end the episode here that looks extremely inappropriate um <laughs> So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, very glad that we finished up this first quest line, get that out of the way. And now um, that we have our small little setup for Totemic, we can uh, start dancing away and doing our rituals. And we'll get deeper into that in the next episode. And um, potentially, you know, depending on how well things go now that we're really set up, um, we might be able to just power through it in one episode um, or maybe one and a half, but I guess you'll have to tune in to find out how quickly we get through it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I love you all. Bye-bye.